people. This is Goon. We're going to talk about some of the gear I take when I go hiking. We're going to talk about this bag here. It is a a, a Nex Pack gear slinger type bag. It is one main strap, goes over your shoulder, and then this wraps around your torso. I use this bag on my small quick hikes. Say I, I'm taking a long lunch, it's in, in between appointments or whatnot, I use this bag. So pretty much two miles or less, I'll use this bag. Anything more than that, I'll use my big pack, which I will get through, which I will get to at some point in time. And I'm, I will apologize for the lighting. My lighting is not good. I need something off to the right so I don't cast so many shadows. But here we go. This is the next pack. I carry a 16 ounce water bottle in here. And for water bottles, all I use is a Gatorade water bottle. I mean, this thing, not even 50 cents for the 16 ounce. I use a 32 ounce on my longer hikes plus a water bladder, but we'll get to that. But I use these bottles, and this bottle is probably five months old. I use those bottles so I don't misplace, lose, otherwise damage a Nalgene bottle. They're, they're what, anywhere 10, 14, or more dollars? This thing, less than 50 cents, if I lose it, if I leave it on a job site, I don't care. All right, it, it, it's, not a, it's not a big, it's not a loss. All right, so there's the water bottle. So we'll start on this side of the pack. A paracord bracelet that I personally made during some outdoor outing. I don't remember, I actually I don't even remember where I was. But it's just a cute little way to keep paracord. This carabiner on the side, I use to carry my clothing that I don't need um, after I start my hike. This time of year, being winter time, it's a little on the chilly side, so I, I wear more clothing in the beginning. But as I get, as I warm up and whatnot, I will, I will clip it. Take the clothes tag, for example, and clip it onto here, and this is high enough up that it doesn't drag on the ground. Or if I have to switch between a ball cap and a skull cap, I just have my working ball cap is right here. I will fumble with this, of course. And then this just, the hat just clips right on there. And you can carry it around, no problem. And then I'll be, I'll have my skull cap on. All right. Get rid of this. Maybe. Maybe. <clears throat> Forgive me having technical issues with my own bag. All right. Uh, so I already apologized for the terrible lighting and also not having a cameraman. I wasn't able to coordinate with uh, who I had in mind for a cameraman. But anyway, to continue on. So the, the side little pouch, we'll go ahead and tear this open. This is just my basic boo-boo stuff. So aspirin, alcohol pads, different types of adhesive bandages, and you don't call them band-aids because some of the I need to replace these this is the reason I'm tearing it apart I need to replace this does that say band-aid on it no it says curad that says band-aid on it but these are adhesive bandages so different types of adhesive bandages this stuff I've been carrying around all last year so I need to swap that out <clears throat> there as you can see the it's falling apart that's no longer sterile all right okay now for the main bag you can see here, I got my little Predator morale patch. I lost my big one, had a Colorado State flag on it, lost it, don't know what happened to it. And I'm going to make sure you can see that. Can you see that? You can see that. Let's zoom this out just a little. Wrong way. Keep going. A little more. There we go. All right. We'll try that. Like I said, no cameraman. And I'm trying to stay out of the picture. I want to show you the gear, not my mug. Okay, so this outside pouch has my wallet. I hate carrying my wallet in my pocket. Absolutely hate it. So I've got it in here, you know, unless, of course, I don't want to take the bag somewhere, then, you know, I carry that in, in a pocket, which I, like I said, despise. All right. Now we'll start with the small pocket up here at top. All right. Chopstick. Hopefully I'm staying within camera frame. 
little pack of Kleenexes. You can buy these things by the box. I think they come in like 12 or 16 in a box. These things are awesome. Keep them in the vehicles, keep them in your packs. I, I go through quite a bit of those. All right, my backup suntan lotion. I keep a big bottle again in the truck. I work in the field. I'm an irrigation tech. Um, this is my backup for that. My lotion, this is my primary lotion. I go through, I don't know how many bottles of these a year, but at the end of the day, with my hands being wet, dry, wet, dry, wet, dry, fixing sprinklers and whatnot, that comes in real handy. So, so far I've got that little bit of junk. All righty, the bigger, the bigger side. We're getting into some of the fun stuff. All right, hopefully you can see that. Can you see that? Yeah, that opened up all right. Let me back this pack up a little bit. All right, pen. Get up. A lighter, which evidently I'm having difficulty with. A lighter, kind of fancy, just a big lighter. Nothing special there, just a big lighter. Can you see that if I move that bag over a little bit like that? Yeah, you can. Okay, we need to come over a little bit more. All right. This is a Streamlight Stylus Pro 360. Just picked this flashlight up this year. Saw it on sale, had a, had a discount. Anyway, I got it really dirt cheap. But what's nice about it is this base. It stand, or there's two nice things about it. This base, it stands up on its own. That will come in handy for what I do, like when I'm in a crawl space or something. Okay, so push button on. All right, so I've got the light going straight up in the air. And the reason they call it a 360 is because let's say you're underneath the car and you need to illuminate a whole area as it falls over. This pulls up and becomes a little bit of a lantern. Can't really tell, but that's 360 degree lighting. It works really well. And this thing's, this thing's really cool. So Stylus Pro 360 from Streamlight. Then I have one magazine, two magazine. All right, I got one more item in this front pocket. And in here are four glow sticks in case I need a little bit more illumination uh, or uh, they, they, they might be a little on the small side for some sort of traffic control if, I, if I'm out of flares, which is in my car kit. Uh, but anyway, a little, little bit of extra lighting, some glow sticks. All right, so that's this pocket in here and up here. So we'll get to the big one. Okay, inside the big one. Coupons. These happen to be Wendy's coupons. Wendy's is in the area where most of my clients are, so I just carry the coupons around with me in case I didn't brown bag it that day or, um, you know, end of the day and I really don't feel like cooking for myself when I get home. There we go. All right. Another set of, an extra set of gloves. These are not my work gloves. These are just backup, my backup gloves. And then this being wintertime, I carry a skull cap because I sometimes walk out of the house without one. So the skull cap, just in case. All righty, what else is in here? This pocket right here, we have some more gauze, rubber gloves for first aid use, a fire starter, and yes, I have needed this in the field. All right, and then roll of tape. This is cloth tape. Okay, that's in there. Hope you can see that. Again, don't have a cameraman, so I don't know how well this is going to turn out. All right, this inside pouch in here, some bigger gauze pads and an emergency blanket. Extremely good for treating shock. All right. And then in this back pouch is for more st serious first aid. It's a trauma pack. And I'm sure you guys have seen this. These are like 20 bucks. And... I have been in situations where people have cut their legs with chainsaws. That comes in very handy. Or I've been in a situation where some dumb idiot didn't follow safety precautions and cut his fingers off. Uh, very interesting story, which can be for another time if I haven't mentioned that in some of my other videos. All right, so that's it for the inside. Inside there. So, so far we're at all that stuff. Now, the back here... The back here, this, this back piece right here, you can see the zipper. Okay, that can be for a water bladder. And only about a half liter will fit in there. 
I don't think a full liter will fit in there, but about a half liter. So what is that? 500 milliliters? 500 milliliters, I think. Uh, my liters aren't so good. But anyway, there's a place for a hose to stick out right at the top here. And so about 500 milliliters, I think, will fit in there just fine. I don't use it for that. I carry the water bottle. And plus, I don't have a bladder that small to fit in it. The bladder I run is two and a half liters, and it will not fit in this small space. But it will fit in my big pack, which, or not my, my bigger pack, which I'll, I'll get to. I'm eventually going to run through all of the, I have three main packs that I, that I use. This is my small one, and I've got a day pack, and then I've got my really big backpack, which you've seen on the hunting videos, by the way. Um, that's, that's my big one. So inside here, I do not keep a water bladder. Inside here, to go with the magazines, is my pistol. Now, in case you're interested, that is a Walther PPS, and it's the first generation. All right, and then I can talk about that later if anybody is interested. And pistols don't really need to be a gun channel, but that is the gear I take on the smaller hikes. Some of this gear transfers over to my other pack when I take my longer hikes, which will be a much longer video. For example, the pistol, the magazines, the wallet. Um, I don't have my phone. My phone is in a different carrier, which I can, I can talk about later because uh, there is another little pouch that I wear on my belt. It has some work stuff in it, and it goes in conjunction with this pack or in conjunction with anything else I am taking, I am carrying, excuse me. Alrighty, people, that's all I got for you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I can answer them there. This setup is evolving. I'm always changing it. I'm always adding something to it or, uh, you know, anyway, it, it, it changes. So if there's a drastic change, I could bring you an update. But anyway, we may revisit this months down the road, if not another full year after I've played with it some even more. Okay, people, that's all I got for you. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much for watching. And remember, people, to play hard. Life is just too damn short not to. You all take care, and I will talk to you guys later. Goodbye, everybody. That's my golf trophy there in the back corner. All right, bye-bye. All right, cool. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs>